Welcome to another episode of the Harvey Hour. My name is Nathan Harvey, and I want to start off this brand new segment called the Harvey Hot Topic with news coming straight out of Green Bay. Um, I believe I mentioned this on a previous Harvey Hour before, but Zadarius Smith was just released by the Packers. Supposedly, his cap hit, uh, his his uh his cap number was twenty seven point six million dollars for this year. It was never really going to work. Zadarius Smith did not want to restructure his deal, and so you know what. They ended up getting rid of him. And now we have another serious thing going on. Devontae Adams will not play on the franchise tag. The Packers could not work out a long-term deal before free agency hit. So they put the tag on him. But uh, Devontae Adams is not going to sign that tag. So what does that mean? You have Aaron Rodgers who supposedly signed a four-year, $200 million deal with the Packers. Could that be thinking, you know what, I'm going to have Devontae Adams back? So I'm going to sign this deal because I'm pretty sure Devontae Adams will be playing with me. But now Devontae Adams is not going to play on the franchise tag. So the Packers need to try to figure out a long-term deal or Aaron Rodgers will not have his number one threat, like, at all. Devontae Adams will probably be on a different team if if him and the Packers cannot decide between a long-term deal. Do I think the Packers and Devontae Adams will sort out the deal? Well, I think releasing Zadarius Smith was a serious indicator they're going to really try to get Devontae Adams back. And I think, you know what? That's the smartest move because who who else is really out there? You have DJ Chark. You have Allen Robinson. But other than, outside those two guys, there's not many other receivers out there that could be considered a top number one talent or at least close to the scale of a Devontae Adams, especially because Devontae Adams for the past few years, minus this past year, was the number one receiver in the league. So you take a look at this, right? Aaron Rodgers has basically signed on with the Packers. Um... The details about that are still a little bit iffy. No one knows if he actually did sign the contract. But the report from Ian Rappaport was is that it's a $200 million deal for four years, $50 million per year to stay with the Packers. Now, <clears throat> when I'm thinking about it, I think Aaron Rodgers did sign that deal because he was also thinking, you know what, Devontae Adams will be on that team for 2022. And coming out of uh, Ian Rappaport and Tom Pelissero, um, supposedly the Packers are also releasing offensive tackle Billy Turner. So, you know what? The Packers, I don't want to say they're falling apart here, but I think the big play for Aaron Rodgers and the Packers to potentially win a Super Bowl, that's not looking so good right now. I mean, I'm taking a look at this. He's 7-9 and nine in playoffs. The Bucks now with Tom Brady coming back. That, that was breaking news yesterday. I was actually, when we, when we started filming the Harvey Hour, the news actually broke. I wasn't on my phone at that point. We weren't supposed to talk about Tom Brady at all. But with Tom Brady coming back in the NFC, now uh, the Bucks and the Packers are tied to win the NFC. The Rams are a little bit iffy on free agents, um, so they are not actually favored to win the NFC. But it's still the Packers, and it's the Bucks. The NFC is the weaker of the two conferences. So you know what? When I take a look at the Packers, and especially with releasing Zadarius Smith, a top three defensive player for that team, and now they're releasing an offensive tackle, I mean, I'm taking a look at this. Could the Packers win the NFC? I don't even know about at that point. I think if the Bucks, because the, the me and my dad discussed yesterday, they need to the, the Bucks need to sign some key pieces to uh, basically have a have a shot at winning a Super Bowl. They actually ended up signing Ryan Jensen around I think 3:34 in the morning. It's a three-year deal. I think it's like 39 million with 23 million guaranteed. So the Bucks are I think the Bucks are trying to go all in again, but they're they're in a bit of a predicament because of the fact their cap space is not the greatest. So that that's a serious problem. But this Packers situation is really, really interesting. Because Devontae Adams now won't play on the cap. You have Aaron Rodgers who signed a big deal. That'll take definitely a hit in their cap. The Packers released an offensive tackle in Billy Turner and they released Sedarius Smith. So the Packers are in some some Hot water right now. Then I, I mean, do I think there'll be a playoff team? Absolutely. NFC is weak. The division is one of the weaker of the divisions in the NFL and especially in the NFC. So I'm taking a look at this. Do the Packers have a shot at being number one? Will Aaron Rodgers finally be able to beat Tom Brady in the playoffs if the, the Bucks even make it to the playoffs? I took a look at the Bucks' potential schedule and, and their, their upcoming opponents for 2022. It is brutal. They're playing the Ravens, the Cowboys, the Browns. The, the Browns have a situation with Baker Mayfield that who knows what's going to happen this offseason. But the Browns, the Rams, the well, obviously they play all the teams in the NFC South, but 
They are playing, they're playing the Cardinals. They're playing the Bengals. They're playing some very, very difficult teams. So this honestly was probably the worst time for Tom Brady to come back. But you know what? Maybe he's up for the challenge. Who knows? I mean, it's Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, the greatest NFL player of all time. I don't know how I don't know how they're gonna be number one. I mean, the challenge is way up there. Could Brady have a new motivation? Do try uh the Ravens and Chiefs are probably the number ones to try to get Zedaria Smith, according to NFL rumors on Twitter. So that that's something to look out. But I'm taking a look at this, right? The Bucs are playing the Bucs playing one of the hardest schedules of the NFL. My guess is it's probably gonna be the hardest schedule in the NFL. So Tom Brady coming back now, I mean, he's going to be 45 years old. And it's weird. I don't think, the crazy part about it was, I was going to say, okay, he's retired, done. Time to focus on my Patriots. But now I'm thinking about, well, is this a multi-year thing? Is he going to stay on the Bucks? I, I think, I was I was watching First Things First this morning uh, at about 6 a, 6.30 in the morning. Or 7.30 in the morning, sorry. And they were discussing a potential, you know what? Brady's going to go to the Bucks and force his way out of Tampa Bay. I can't really see that happening. I think if he's going to play, it's going to be for the Bucs. And supposedly Leonard Fournette posted a thank you to the Bucs organization on Instagram. And then when Brady came out with the news um, about him coming back, he deleted the post. And Leonard Fournette's a free agent this year. So will Leonard Fournette come back? Will the, will the Bucs try to push for Saquon Barkley? I don't know. But it's definitely going to be interesting. So, you know what? If news breaks out, You'll see me again soon. My name is Nathan Harvey. This has been a Harvey Hot Topic. Catch you guys soon. Thank you all for watching this episode of the Harvey Hour. My name is Nathan Harvey, and make sure you hit that subscribe button right here to stay notified on everything we do here at the Harvey Hour. If you want this episode a day early, make sure you go over to anchor.fm slash the Harvey Hour. I upload this podcast in audio-only form a day earlier. So if you want to jumpstart on everything Harvey Hour, make sure you head over to anchor.fm slash the Harvey Hour. Or you can look me up on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, any one of those sites. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Nathan Harvey. I'll catch you guys soon.